Hello all, welcome to part six of JavaScript for beginner series. In this session, I'm going to practically show you how to separate the JavaScript code from the HTML code. So let's get started. I'll first launch this Visual Studio code IDE. Here we have one of the program, right? First JS program. So this is the HTML code guys. Inside the HTML code, we have this JavaScript code written here. You see, this is the JavaScript code, which is there inside the HTML code. So before I separate this JavaScript code from this HTML code, first let me change the theme of this editor guys, okay? Uh, I got some feedback from few people saying that uh, they are unable to see the screen because of the dark background. So anyhow, I'll be showing you how to change the theme guys, okay? So that is also will be covered, okay? Just click on the settings icon and here in the Visual Studio code, click on the settings icon here. There's something like color theme, just select that. So currently dark plus default dark is selected. Uh, we can go to some lighter themes or something like this, guys. okay? Either this one or this one. So I'll go with this second one, guys, light plus default light, okay? You see the theme got changed. The theme got changed. And uh, the dark background is gone and now we got the white background. And on that, we have this uh, HTML code. Inside the HTML code, uh, we are writing some JavaScript code inside the script tags. That's fine, so far so good. But guys, I want to separate this JavaScript code, okay, into a separate file. I don't want to have the JavaScript code inside the same HTML file. Rather, I would like to separate this, okay? I don't want to write the JavaScript code in the same HTML file. Rather, I want to separate. How to do that? How to do that? For that, guys, uh, create a new file, okay? I'll just call this file as uh, uh, demo file, okay? Demo.js. Demo.js. Here, dot .js means JavaScript, okay? I'm just creating a JavaScript file, guys. So just press enter, guys, uh, demo.js will be created. Now, what I will do is I'll just move this particular alert, uh, whatever the JavaScript code is there in, inside this HTML, right? I'm just moving it to a separate file like this, okay? It's done. It will be auto-saved, guys. Uh, I, I selected this auto-save option, so I don't have to save every time I move the things and all. It will be auto-saved auto in my case, okay? Anyhow, in this demo.js, we have the JavaScript code and I, I was able to successfully separate it. But how to run that? How to run that, guys, okay? How to run this demo.js file? So for that, guys, we can run, still we can run it from the HTML code itself, okay? We can run this separate demo.js file from the HTML code itself. For that, guys, here, inside the script tag, okay, after this uh, attribute that is type is equal, this is an optional attribute, right, as you already know, type is equal text uh, by JavaScript. We'll create one more attribute known as SRC is equal to just provide the double quotes. Inside the double quotes, we have to provide the path of this demo.js. But if in case this demo.js is at the same location where this particular HTML file is there, right? As you can see here, this first JS program.html and demo.js are at the same location under the same VSC files folder, right? So what we can do here is instead of providing the entire path, you can just provide the name and extension. That will be enough, guys. Okay. I can simply say demo.js. If in case this particular demo.js is at a different location than this particular folder, in that case, guys, you can provide the complete path of this JS file. Okay, here you have to provide the complete path. But now, uh, as we are creating this JavaScript file and HTML file got created under the same folder, you can directly give the name and extension of the file. Okay, hope you are able to understand. This is enough, guys. Okay, even though the demo.js JavaScript code is in a separate file, but since we are providing this SRC and providing the path of the JS file, Okay, the code which is there in the demo.js file will be executed now. Okay, when I execute this HTML file, automatically the code that is there in the demo.js file will be executed. So let's see that in action, guys. Uh, what is there in the demo.js file? Alert. Okay, an alert should be displayed with this particular text. IL, this is Arnold Motor text should be displayed on the alert. So I'll be running the HTML code. Right click, open with live server. You see what happened, guys? The browser got opened and we got an alert already. That means uh, even after separating the JavaScript code into a separate JS file, still we are able to run the JavaScript code from the HTML file. So we got the alert with the same text file. This is Arun Motor. So hope guys you understood uh, how to separate the JavaScript code from the HTML code and still we can execute the JavaScript code from the HTML file even despite of separating it from the HTML code. So that's it guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.